Hi guys and welcome back to another episode of the FIFA 21 Ultimate Team Road to Glory. It's episode number 226 and to start this episode off we are going to be changing the team that is on your screen right now. Uh, so the new the new defence we bought last weekend with the new SBCs, uh, it did well but I thought, you know what, there's a new there's obviously a different SBC that's come out. I like doing SBCs and it's something different uh, to add to the team and we're going to be changing that defence. So Rusilon keeps his place in the side. Uh, however, the other def oh, and also Babu keeps his place in the side. However, uh, the other two defenders and keeper are going to be losing their places, and that's because Neuer is absolutely terrible, as you saw last weekend. He's woeful, right? So I'm bringing Edison back into the side, uh, which may give away who we are going to be bringing in. But he's now obviously. Uh, He's going out the out the club basically. He's now he's absolutely woeful. Never want to use him ever ever again in my life. Uh, and we're going to be bringing in a new player, as you can see, with these SBCs that we're submitting. So I've got rid of Baku and in foot birthday and Aki Williams for SBC, uh, which is interesting. But Kyle Walker is the player that we are going to be bringing into the club. So it's a showdown card, the first ever show showdown card we've ever done uh, on the road to glory, which is very interesting actually. You know, considering there's been quite a few, uh, not really caught my eye but this one is very very good uh, he's got the long throw trait which is fantastic for throwings obviously uh, but he's also got some other key stats and he's 95 pace so you always want that now i'm gonna turn into a little bit of a rat here what we're gonna do is we're gonna be buying another player which you'll see right now uh He's, he's a fellow Man City player. Uh, we are typing in Cancelo. We're going to get his team this season back into the club. We had him uh, a few weeks ago, but sold him uh, for like 250k. We've got to buy him back for 300. We, we, we've lost so many coins on, on buying this card uh, and selling this card on for obviously like so much less. So we get him for not 306. I'm pretty sure we get him for like 307, 308, something like that. So it's not terrible. Yeah, 307, we get him in the club. So he's going to be partnering Kyle Walker in the new defence. Uh, and this is how the team is going to line up. So it's sort of like it was before, but we're going to be having Mbabu on five chemistry, which is a little bit of a interesting one to be honest with you uh, I mean what I could do is maybe put on Babu to right back and then put Cancelo and Walker both on seven and then obviously the full backs will be on eight I could do that but you know, uh, we'll just have to see how it goes. So we are going to go into the weekend league, uh, and this is the first opponent that we do play. I played every single game on Friday, and that is because uh, I'm going to the caravan uh, on Sunday, and I obviously want to watch the playoffs and obviously the Champions League final, things like that on Saturday. So I wanted to get all my games done on Friday, uh, and we did just that. Now, I mean, we didn't do great, but we'll take it for a Friday, because obviously Friday is a very sweaty day. Uh, but we do start off very, very well, uh, going 3-0, up in the first game Mount does score a goal back but to be honest with you it was always sort of going to be a consolation goal I was absolutely all over this guy from the first whistle to the last getting another goal with SCN now uh, this is quite interesting I've sort of moved uh, the team around a little bit and I didn't actually mean to so SCN and obviously Kimmich are both my centre mids now Kimmich always was my box to box centre mid I always had him like up and down the pitch and then SCN was my um, obviously just sit back midfielder uh, and Kimmich was on the left and obviously then um, SEM was on the right so that were all fine right now we've changed formation and things like that and it's all switched around SEN is on the left side and Kimmich is on the right meaning that SEN is obviously the box-to-box -box midfielder I didn't actually realize that at the time but I, I noticed it sort of in the first game but he actually scored like two or three goals so I thought you know what let's just keep it there and see what he does and I'll be honest with you he's been absolutely class there as a box to box midfielder and Kimmich has been quality as like holding down being the anchor to the side which is absolutely fantastic so maybe we stick like that for the sort of next couple of weeks because it, it was actually doing really really well and we do go 2-0 up in the second game as well so uh, that's absolutely fantastic he did have a Cristiano Ronaldo team this season as well which I'm very jealous of obviously we've got him on the second account but not on this main account which is the, obviously the Rudd's glory that we've had for the full year uh, but it's, it's still, we've still got a crack team so it doesn't really matter so we are 3-0 up you know we're doing lack of care cancels every sort of sweaty little thing uh, to try and get the extra goals to get the rage quits needed to happen we do go 4-0 up 
up uh, inside 35 minutes. Then from kickoff, we get another goal through Pele. So we're absolutely balling in life. Five goals to the good. And in 35 minutes, he's finally going to hit that rage button and quits the game. So that's fantastic. Uh, interesting to see that we both played 4 4 2 there. I'm pretty sure I'd like to, I can't remember who his other striker but obviously Ronaldo is other. Anyway, so we are 2 0, loving life. And we're going to move on to the next game. Now, this is a, again a very nice team. He's got four icons, probably from Icon Packs, if I'm being honest. Uh, Red Rashford's in there. Uh, but that defence is really, really outdated, in my, in my opinion. Like Koundé rode to the final, not had that for months. Uh, he's got Varane, I think, in there, maybe. And then obviously, he's got Mendy. So it's just it's just not great. Uh, and from kickoff, you know, we're gonna we're gonna look to try score. And uh, you know, he takes me out literally just one minute thirty seconds of the clock with the Varan. Uh, I thought that was gonna be a red card, but it actually wasn't. Um, unfortunate for me. So we'll just take the free kick then. Can we smash it into the back of the net? Well, we're not going to have the shot from the free kick. We're going to lay it off shot. Uh, we're going to pass it in. And, uh, yeah, we don't get the goal. But, as you can see here, we're sort of making a bit of a, like, a longer highlight for this. And that's because this game does go quite quickly. Uh, as you can see, Messi gets the ball back somehow. Quite jammy, but finds SEM back to SEM from Kimmich. And then we found Pele. He bridges. It's a good save by Old Black. As you can see, I'm absolutely all over this guy, having a load of opportunities to try score a goal. Uh, as you can see, again, we're just on the edge of the box. We're trying to work an opening. Kimmich does very, very well to keep that ball there. Another little small bridge, but unfortunately, that one doesn't work out. And now we've got a chance to, well, hopefully defend with the new defenders, because uh, we haven't really done that. I mean, I stepped out stupidly there with Kyle Walker, but what can Cancelo do? Can he just stand his man? Yes, he can, and wins the ball back. Now, I really like that from Cancelo. Uh, you know, just getting around the, the opponent and nicking the ball back. He does that so, so well. And also, Kyle Walker, he's brilliant at, like, blocks and things like that. I'm actually really liking Kyle Walker. If that SBC is still out, I think it's gone by the time you're watching this, though. Go and do him. Uh, well, I hope you've already done him because it'll probably be gone. I think it goes, like, today at 6. And obviously, you'll see this video at 6. But anyway, we do score a nice little goal there through Benzema. And he's going to pause the game in the 10th minute. And he's going to be quitting out this game at 1 now, which is really interesting. Uh, but obviously, I'd so many chances i was just all over him and my team is insane so i can see why he's quit uh, and we'll just move on at 3 and 0. So this is now with a game to hopefully put us 4 and 0. He's got a very nice team. He's got that 9 goal and strong into Lukaku. That is a fantastic link. I love that. Carrasco as well. It's brilliant. He's got the nice reds of Fafana and even Benzema. I don't know if he's managed to get red Benzema, but anyway. Uh, so we pick up the ball 20 minutes on the clock and we're going to push it out wide to Maradona into SAN. And he's again, he's in the box. He's working lovely magic. And we find Pele on the, the obviously sort of side of the box and he takes the shot on scores i'm very very comfortable obviously we're shooting with pele and we do uh well we are one nil up but uh, he's gonna get a nice little goal back there through benzema we know how good benzema is he's an absolute danger for us he's a menace up front uh, and he does get a nice little finish there off uh, my opponent uh, so moving into the second half then we're gonna obviously look to try and win this game and it's a brilliant ball across from maradona into the box and pele rises highest to get the goal which is brilliant but then my defense i mean it's not not my defense as in my players it's me like controlling the defenders it was just it, terrible uh, so we are back to two all back to square one uh, and we are going to pause the game to make some changes is obviously bringing on Douglas Costa and uh, so on and so forth and then it just gets worse for us uh, Romelu Lukaku is very very good on this game now I remember like FIFA 17 or FIFA 18 he had uh, I'm pretty sure it was like a player of the month or something that was a ridiculous card I owned that it was fantastic might be in the team of the season actually but then in the 73rd minute my game has frozen and I was livid and the reason why it's frozen is because my internet went off now you may have seen on Twitter that I did put out uh, basically just adding my wi-fi provider like what's going on because it happens like all the time like i'm so lucky that this hasn't happened before in foot champs it literally just goes off like once every couple of hours for no reason and then obviously comes back on like after a minute it's so stupid uh, and it's just cost me a game there but i mean we were three two down but i felt i was dominating the opponent he got some obviously goals that i probably could have like basically saved 
uh, and not conceded but it is what it is so we move on and we have three and one so this is going to be the final game of the episode then uh, obviously to giving us the fifth game and we come out the blocks fighting we want it we want revenge basically and we do go one up very early on we're going to make it two as well Pele it's a great ball from Benzema actually and on the weak foot of Pele he's going to slot that home well he smashed it home uh, to the right hand side of the net and then we're going to absolutely abuse uh, the through ball meta this year and bang we've scored another goal with Pele this time on his stronger foot so we're 3-0 up very very early on in this game and as you can see I really Really, really want to win this game but again my defending is absolutely atrocious Edison does save me there but he picks the ball back up and it's a great little uh, volley from Eusebio who's a very very good player in this game we all know this he probably got him from an icon pack uh, because he's a very expensive player in this game uh, so anyway Benzema from kickoff we're just going to push through his defenders have just sort of rushed out and he's one on one and Benzema shoots it straight at the keeper but Messi is on hand to get the goal to put us back three goals in front which is fantastic so 4-1 into the lead and then just before I time we can make it even better for ourselves beautiful dribbling from Benzema uh, Caesars get the fifth goal and he does just quit at half time which is absolutely fantastic as you can see in like a few seconds time uh, go on quit mate there you go so he's gone as well uh, we played the 4-4-2 still uh, this guy played a 4-3-1-2 which I've seen is a very meta formation now it seems to be like taking YouTube by storm and things like that so we may, we may try it we may not but yeah so this is the new team and I hope you enjoyed the video so if you enjoyed the video give it a like subscribe if you are new to the channel and i'll catch you in the next one tomorrow